Apple is best known for its iPhones, Macs, and, well, of course, Ted Lasso. But now they make this. It's an AirTag, and it's downright tiny. You attach it to an object like your keys, and you can keep track of it with Apple's Find My Network. Pretty nifty, right? So let's start out with some basics. This kind of tracker isn't new, but the biggest selling point for the AirTag is Apple's Find My Network, which is made up of hundreds of millions of Apple devices. And last week, the Find My Network was opened up to third parties who can take advantage of it, which will just increase that number even more. And that's important because let's say you lose your keys, but they have an AirTag attached. As soon as someone with another device on the Find My Network, like an iPhone, crosses its path, the AirTag will communicate with the iPhone securely in the background to update its location. Kind of like uh, using Bluetooth to piggyback this information back to you. Now, unboxing an AirTag is curious. It comes with lots and lots of paperwork and a battery that's already installed. And I can't emphasize enough how tiny it is. It weighs roughly the same as two quarters. It's bigger than a Junior Mint, a Milk Dud, and a Minto. And not by much. One side is white. The other is stainless steel. And yes, it feels well-made. In fact, it's rated IP67 for dust and water resistance and can survive being submerged for 30 minutes up to a one meter. Behind the stainless steel back is a replaceable CR2032 battery, which Apple claims will last a year. And when it starts to get low, your iPhone will notify you. CR2032 batteries are very common. It can be found in stores, drugstores, and online. And what's nice is you can replace it yourself. Setup is easy. You just pull off the battery tab, bring it close to your iPhone, and tap connect. Now, I had to update my iPhone to iOS 14.5 and sign into my iCloud account and verify the lock code on my iPhone, but pretty straightforward. From there, you're prompted to name it. For example, I named this one Keys because it's gonna go on my keys. Yeah, I know, original. And now this AirTag is tied to my Apple ID and that allows me to do a number of things. First of which is I can ping the AirTag and it will play a sound. The AirTag uses the surface here as a sound actuator, hence the lack of a tiny speaker grill. And get this, you don't even need to have the Find My app open. You can just say, hey Siri, where are my keys? Looking for keys. And the AirTag will chime. It's nearby, pinging keys now. It's right here. But it gets better if you have an iPhone 11 or 12, you can use precision finding to locate your AirTag. And that's because the AirTag, like the iPhone 11 12, has a U1 ultra wideband chip. And that helps it determine the exact distance and direction from the iPhone to it. Now this really cool interface pops up on your iPhone to guide you visually with haptics and sound to help you find your lost item. The iPhone uses its cameras, AR kit, the accelerometer, gyroscope, along with data from the AirTag to do all this. It's really impressive. Precision finding works within Bluetooth range of an AirTag. But let's say the AirTag is a bit farther away. You could enter it into loss mode, which allows you to enter a phone number. Now, if someone comes across the AirTag, they can tap the AirTag with an NFC phone and will be taken to a website with info on how to contact you. It works on iOS and Android devices. Let's talk privacy. Unfortunately, there are people who might wanna take advantage of the anonymity and the privacy that the AirTag provides and might try to use it to track another person without them knowing. Well, Apple has you covered with a number of features to discourage unwanted tracking. Your iPhone or iOS device can detect an AirTag that's not with its owner, and it'll notify you if it's traveling with you over time. You'll then be able to play a sound on the unknown AirTag to help locate it and view information like its serial number and instructions on how to disable it, like by removing its battery. You're the only one who can see where your AirTag is. Any location data or location history isn't stored on the AirTag itself. And when the AirTag comes in contact with another Find My device, like an iPhone, info is relayed anonymously and encrypted. No one, not even Apple, knows the location of your AirTag or the identity of the Find My device used to find it. And any Bluetooth signals used by 
the Find My Network rotate frequently so you can't be tracked by them. AirTags work with any iPhone or iPod Touch on iOS 14.5 or any iPad on iPad OS 14.5. A single AirTag costs $29, but you can get a pack of four for $99. They go on sale Friday, April 23rd, and will be available on April 30th. Also, Apple sells a few accessories for the AirTag, including a leather loop and a leather key ring, and these cost between $29 and $39. But before I finish, I wanna talk about pets and kids. As soon as AirTags were announced, I saw friends online joking about how they wanted to put one of these on their kid or dog or whatever. If you attach this to a pet, that pet has to come within Bluetooth range of a device on the Find My Network for your pet's location to be updated. As far as kids, the AirTag is meant for items, say for example, your child's backpack if it gets left in the cafeteria. Built-in features aimed at preventing tracking that I mentioned earlier mean that an AirTag isn't the best option for keeping dibs on your kid's location. You'd be better off using an Apple Watch with family setup, which lets you know your kid's location and the location of other family members. <laughs> so that's all I got. Look, I gotta tell you that um, I've had this AirTag for about eight hours, which is not a lot of time, but I do look forward to testing it out more in depth. But now, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of Apple's AirTag? Are you going to buy one or two or four? Throw your thoughts in the comments. That was satisfying.